we will learn about how to use module in python script action in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started so first of all we should understand what is module module it is a file containing a set of functions that you want to include in your application if you want to create a module what you have to do is you just need to save that code in a file with the file extension as .py okay so first of all what we will do is we will open the notepad we have opened the notepad in this notepad I will use def keyword which is used to define a function in python and then I will give the name of the function as greeting and this function is going to accept a parameter so I will give the name of that parameter which is name and then I will have this colon in the next line I will define print and in the bracket I will mention hello and I'll give a comma and a space and then plus and then name of the variable which is name notice that we are using plus symbol to concatenate the text okay now what I will do is I will save this file so I will press ctrl s and then I will navigate to d drive sample files and here what I will do is I will change it to all files and then here I will give the name of this module so name of the module is going to be test module dot py right so whenever you are creating a module you need to make sure that the extension of the file is dot py now i will click on save and then i will close this notepad now what i will do is i will just copy the path of that module file for that i will navigate to file explorer I will go to sample files from here I will look for test module as you can see the icon of the python and then I will click on home and from here I will copy the path then I will minimize it now what I will do is I will go to run python script and from here I will go to advanced and here I will paste the file path I will remove the double quotes from the file path and also I will make sure that I am just specifying the directory where I have saved my module okay the next line that we are going to write is about how to use the module or the function that we have defined in the module right so first of all i will use the keyword which is import and then i will specify the name of the module so the name of the module is test module and then in the next line i will write test module dot greeting and this function is accepting a parameter which is john right and now i will click on save and now i will run the bot you can see that here 
we did not get any output reason behind that is when we go to variables produced here we have this script error action or option which is disabled I will click on save and run the bot again now you can see that it is saying that indentation error expected and indented block that means when we wrote the function we did not give a tab here so now if I press the tab so this indentation will be inserted and then I will press ctrl s and then I will close this now I will run the bot now you can see that we have got an output which is hello John right because this is the value we have passed to this greeting function that we have defined in the module now we will see how to use variables in module consider that I have this uh, function in this module and let's say instead of this function I create a variable which is let's say person 1 and this person has some attribute so I'll define the attribute for this which is uh, let's say name I'll give the name of this person as John then comma I'll define the age of this person as 36 comma and the next one is going to be country colon and let's say India so when you are creating module you can use variables in the module which can be arrays dictionaries and objects or many other variables that you can use in the Python now I will press ctrl s to save this module I'll go to run python script now what we are going to do here is we are importing this module already right and here we have already specified the path where this module is available now the next task that we have is that to access that variable which is person 1 and this person is having a property which is let's say age right and whatever the age value is there that I want to store in the variable a and then I will print the value of this variable a right now I will click on save and then I will run the bot you can see that we have got the value as 36 similarly if I want to access the name of the person I can say name and then I will be able to access the value of that dictionary variable which is John it is also possible that in this module you can have this variable and also you can have the function which is let's say greeting which is going to accept a parameter which is let's say name then colon then I will give a indentation so that it does not generate any error then I'll type print here I will specify a text which is hello give a space plus to concatenate the text and then here I'll specify the variable which is name I will save this module and then I will 
try to access that function from this script now let's say I want to call that function so what I can do is I can just use this test module dot then the function name which is greeting I will pass a parameter which is Smith and now I will click on save and then I will click on run now here you will see that we have got two output one is related to that dictionary variable where we are just trying to access the name of the person and the second one is where we are passing a parameter to say hello right so this is how you can create module in python and you can use the same module in the python script action in power automate desktop if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day